hello welcome back to my channel how are you doing it's black history month hope you're having a great time learning about black history like I am doing and sharing with you hope you learned something because as an author I love to read I love to do research when I read and when I write my books I write books for children so for Black History Month, I decided to talk um, different topics that affect um, black people and also to help us learn together. So you can tell me in the below what you like to learn about and also tell me the kind of music you like and what Black History Month is for you. So let's listen to some music because music is food for the soul. And black people love music, right? So Black History Month or Black History in general is celebrated all over the world, especially in the United States it's celebrated in February. In Latin America and Brazil in particular, it's celebrated in November. It's celebrated in the United Kingdom also, in Canada, in the Netherlands, and in Australia it's celebrated in July because we have the Aboriginals, the origin, the indigenous of uh, Australia and we have the Surinamese in the Netherlands so in the United States we have the organization that has been instrumental to black history and black culture legacy and though Carter W Woodson was the father of African American history and also the founder of the Black Negro Week that later on became the Black History Month. Uh, we have also learned about the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People, which is the NAWCP, which is turning 112 years this week. So kudos and thank you for the great work you've been doing, you guys, at the NAWCP. It was founded in 1909 in New York by people including W.E.B. Dubois, Ida Biles, Wells Barnett, Mary White Ovington, and other people. It was inspired largely by the Springfield, Illinois race riot and also the Niagara movement that was, being, uh, that was organized by W.E.B. Dubois from 1905. So you can research more on the Springfield, Illinois race riot. It's very instrumental about the fight for black rights and African-American rights in the 1900s. So today I want to talk about the NAWCP. Today it has over 500,000 members and with uh, the headquarters in Baltimore, Maryland and regional offices in New York, in California, in Georgia, in Colorado, Texas, and in Michigan. It also has um, emancipation program and uh, emancipation and empowerment programs for, for youths and for, for African American people. And it is also tax exempt, so you can support them. If you go to their website, you can support them. It's a bad day, so you can give them a bad day gift for all the work they've been doing. And their purpose, I will read, is to ensure the political, social, and economic equality of rights of all persons and to eliminate racial hatred and racial discrimination. It's been a great job they've been doing over the years because um, it's managed by a board of directors of 64 members and it has a, a director a chairman and a president and a CEO. The current chairman is Leon N. Roussel and the current president and CEO is Derek Johnson. 
So this great organization, if you remember, they do have like an annual award that they present on TV for people who've made contributions to African American lives in different sectors, like in arts, like in education, in science, and in other sectors of life. And for this year, Black History Month, the NAWCP, which is the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People, has some ideas for us how to celebrate Black History Month. So I will just read the list for you. And if you really don't know what to do to celebrate Black History Month, or you just want to have new ideas, you, you can pick one or two from the list and have fun with it. So the list goes, we can support black businesses. You can visit the Black History or Civil Rights Museum in your local area. You can donate to a black organization like the NAWCP, which is tax exempt. You can also host a black film narration. You can wear your hair out in its natural form to school, work or social event. You can become a member of a black organization like the NAWCP, which has already 500,000 members so far. You can trace your family history, like your DNA and trying to know where you come from. And research has shown that um, a lot of people we were brought to the United States and to Latin America, Brazil, Cuba, Haiti as slaves came from the west coast of africa mostly we have tribes like the chamba who, who are people from nigeria and and cameroon you have people from the the you also have the fulanis who are in like in the senegal cameroon nigeria you have the abons the fawns you also have the the mandinge those were just a couple of people just a couple you have the yorubas the Igbos. And a lot of people, when they go to check their DNA, their ancestry lineage, they find that they come from this area, like on the coast of West Africa, that's where the slave ships had gone through and picked up people. <laughs> yeah, and most of, some, most of those people, from what we hear or learn in history, were betrayed by their family members, right? It's, it's, it's what it is and it's a sad thing that family members had to betray their families and friends like that but I think God had a hand in it for I think like in the Bible when the Lord said to Moses that go leave your father's house and go to a land that I will show you he was like it was the initiation of the globalization of the world that the that God was was initiating at the time. I strongly believe so, but how it was handled by man, I don't think we can have or we ever had control over that. But that's what I think was in the process because today we have black people all over the world and we having a blend of cultures, a blend of skin tones. You have brown people, you have white people, black people, yellow people and america is the melting pot of all different peoples and all different cultures but the nawcp continues to tell us different ways how to celebrate black history month so let's continue you can spend time with a black elder in your community we can read a book by a black author there's so many black authors like phyllis whitley that i love she has great poems, Maya Angelou's poems, Toni Morrison's novels, um, James Baldwin. Um, there are just so many black authors, like Amanda Goldman's poetry too. So there's so many black authors out there. You can look up their books and read any of them. You can also cook a soul food meal, you know, like the like gumbo. Very, very, very delicious. You can sign up for, to mentor a black child in your community. You can donate to an HBCU, a black college. 
you can attend or host a or host you can attend or host a black culture event in your community it could be a church or anywhere social event for kids for people who are going through COVID-19 or for the healthcare uh, workers who are helping with the COVID-19 um, pandemic you can learn about an unsung hero of black history you know a lot of black artists never got credit for their creations back in the days you can help with that you can explore black music the different genres of black music and you can also study black um call out racism and prejudice in your community you can sign up to receive news from a black organization you can contribute an essay or blog to a black media outlet support the black media black press and the nn nnpe you can engage in healthy conversation about black history on social media you can learn the lyrics to lift every voice and sing you can read dr king's i have a dream speech everyone knows that one you can google it you can decorate your home with black art and you can study African diaspora. You can read a biography of an influential black figure. Why not the first African-American black president, Barack Obama or Michelle Obama or Oprah Winfrey or Lee Daniels? There's so many of them out there, you know, even black historians. You can write a black children's book yeah so whichever thing you decide to do for black history month as a way to participate in black history month celebration go for it if you have other ideas please list them below in the comments below and i will be happy to read them next time but so far thank you for watching and Let's listen to more music, right? I love black music. I love jazz music. Comment below what kind of music you like to listen to during Black History Month or any black favorite music or musician that you like to listen to. And let's listen to more music. I hate the, the volume button. Please like and subscribe. And I'm waiting for your comments. Just comment below what kind of music you like to listen to during Black History Month or whichever form or method you, you're going to use to celebrate Black History Month. And if you like what I, what I just talked about, about the NAWCP, about Black History Month, or any topic you want me to talk about, please write it down in the comments below. And I will be glad to do that. Thank you very much for watching. It's a pleasure to have you on my channel. Take care. Talk to you another time.